Creatine and whey protein are two of the most popular supplements used by athletes, bodybuilders, and fitness enthusiasts worldwide. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound found in muscle cells that helps produce energy during high intensity exercise. Whey protein, on the other hand, is a protein source derived from milk that is known for its high bioavailability and fast digestion. In this video, we'll explore exactly what happens when you supplement with creatine and whey protein together. But first, let's take a closer look at creatine and whey protein and how they work in the body. Creatine is a molecule that is naturally found in muscle cells. When we exercise, our body uses ATP for energy, which is stored in our muscles. Creatine helps increase the amount of ATP available for muscle contraction during short, high-intensity exercise such as weightlifting or sprinting. But according to this paper from the International Society of Sports, even with a high meat, high protein diet, we can only fill our muscle creatine stores about 60 to 80 percent. The remaining 20 to 40 percent can be achieved by taking a creatine supplement. And just to give you some perspective, without fully saturated creatine stores, you might be able to bench press 225 pounds for eight reps maximum. With full creatine stores, since ATP within the muscle is increased and quickly replenished, you would be able to perform the same 225 pounds for 10 to 12 reps. And if you've been lifting for any amount of time, it's not hard to see how much that increase in volume can compound over time. There is no shortage of studies on the positive and significant effects of creatine supplementation. This meta-analysis showed a consistent increase in athletic performance across 300 studies whether the study measures maximal power, max reps, or sprint times. Increased muscle mass and strength are almost always reported when taking creatine. This is all likely due to its effects on reducing fatigue during high intensity exercise which allows you to train harder and better for slightly longer. Now that we understand how creatine works and why, let's discuss the next most popular muscle building supplement, whey protein. Whey protein is a byproduct of cheese production and is considered a complete protein source, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids that our body needs for muscle growth and repair. It's rapidly absorbed by the body, making it an ideal choice for post-workout recovery or anytime you're in a rush and need a quick protein fix. Studies show why whey protein is the superior choice for building muscle. First, it contains amino acids that inhibit muscle breakdown, and at the same time, it activates the mTOR pathway, kickstarting muscle protein synthesis or the building of muscle fibers. Thus, whey protein has an anti-catabolic and anabolic effect. This dual effect of whey protein puts your body in the best state for rapid muscle growth. With that out of the way, let's quickly go over the benefits of each supplement. The benefits of creatine include increased strength and power due to its ability to increase the amount of ATP available for muscle contraction, allowing for greater force production during high-intensity exercise. Creatine supplementation has also been shown to improve endurance and performance in activities such as running, swimming, and cycling. This is due to its ability to increase the amount of ATP stored in muscles, which can delay fatigue during prolonged exercise. It also improves recovery due to the increased rate of creatine phosphate resynthesis during recovery periods, causing lower blood lactate and metabolite accumulation in the muscles, which are responsible for inducing fatigue. Lastly, one of the more recent discoveries is how it can contribute to better brain function. According to a systematic review of six studies involving 281 individuals, taking creatine results in notable enhancements in cognitive abilities such as short-term memory, intelligence, and reasoning. The benefits you can expect from supplementing with whey protein, on the other hand, are as follows. First, 
an increase in muscle protein synthesis rates. This occurs due to whey protein's high concentration of essential amino acids, specifically leucine, which drives the signaling of muscle protein synthesis in recovering muscles. Next is improved body composition. One 10-week study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that resistance-trained men had the greatest increase in fat-free mass from supplementing with whey and casein. This is likely due to its ability to increase muscle protein synthesis and reduce muscle breakdown. Whey protein has also been shown to reduce hunger and increase feelings of fullness, which can aid in weight loss and weight management. Apart from its physique building benefits, whey has also been shown to improve immune function. One study shows that whey protein is able to positively affect total antioxidant capacity. The same study also showed improvements in cardiovascular risk factors such as lipid profiles in overweight young men as a result of supplementing with whey. And now to answer the big question. What happens when you take creatine and whey protein together? When taken together, creatine and whey protein can provide a synergistic effect on muscle growth and strength. For example, one study showed that combining creatine and whey protein resulted in greater increases in lean tissue mass and bench press than those who supplemented with only whey protein or placebo. This combination can lead to more significant improvements in muscle mass, strength and power both directly and indirectly. First, let's discuss how they complement one another indirectly. During a workout, creatine helps you lift heavier and with more volume. This provides a greater growth stimulus but also carries with it greater stress on the muscle which can increase muscle damage. So whey which is fast digesting quickly stops or at least attenuates muscle breakdown while simultaneously jump-starting muscle protein synthesis. This is important because for muscle growth to occur, the ratio of muscle breakdown and muscle building should favor the latter. Now, let's discuss how these two supplements complement each other more directly. Taking creatine and whey protein creates a direct anabolic effect on muscle tissue. Creatine increases muscle cell volume by pulling in more water, thus creating a better environment for muscle growth. Then, whey protein provides the essential amino acids necessary for muscle protein synthesis. Therefore, taking them together provides a synergistic effect that promotes hypertrophy. In summary, taking creatine and whey protein together will provide additional benefits due to their complementary effects on energy availability, muscle repair and growth, and cognitive function. The question then becomes, how much should you take? For creatine, I recommend a loading phase of 20 to 25 grams per day for the first five to seven days to reach full saturation, followed by a maintenance dose of three to five grams per day. If your gut is a bit more sensitive, I recommend taking three to five grams a day until you reach full saturation. While this approach may take a bit longer, it'll help avoid any stomach issues. Either way, remember that you cannot fully feel the effect effects of creatine supplementation until you've maxed out your creatine stores. For whey protein, I recommend having one scoop before or after a workout. More importantly, make sure you have a total daily protein intake of around one gram of protein per pound of body weight for muscle growth. When taking creatine and whey protein together, consider the following. One study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that taking creatine with 50 grams of carbs and protein enhances the retention. Another study by Forbes and colleagues suggested that taking creatine post-workout leads to slightly greater benefits. And since your body is primed for a fast-acting protein post-workout, here's what I recommend for best results. 30 to 60 minutes following your workout, combine one scoop of whey protein, five grams of creatine, and one banana. This will ensure you're covering all bases. If it's a non-training day, just be sure to get your five grams of creatine in at any point in the day. And remember, 
whey and creatine will augment your efforts in reaching your fitness and physique goals significantly, but they are not miracle powders. They are not meant as a substitute for a healthy diet and regular exercise routine, but rather as a tool to help reach your fitness goals a bit more efficiently. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.